The Delta system has proved so effective in Ukraine's defense forces that it will be implemented in all security agencies in the future, Ukraine's Defense Minister Rustem Umarov shared the information the ministry's press service reports. Ukraine is a high-tech country and the numerical superiority of the Russian enemy on the battlefield is compensated by our digital solutions and precision weapons. The modern Delta system from the Defense Ministry is effectively used by the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Thanks to Delta, our $15 billion worth of enemy equipment has already been destroyed, he said. The minister added that the system will be implemented in all law enforcement agencies. To this end, our digital team, together with the State Special Communication Service, the Security Service of Ukraine and other partners, has modernized security measures to ensure that our defense forces receive the most technologically advanced tools to destroy the enemy, the head of the department summarized. Recall on February the 4th, 2023, Ukraine's cabinet of ministers decided to introduce the Delta system in the Ukrainian defense forces. In July 2024, Delta passed a NATO standard security audit. On August the 8th, Ukraine's deputy defense minister, Katerina Chernohorenko, said that the system was recording 600,000 Russian targets every month and planning 106,000 UAV missions. Delta, a system developed for and by the military, is the largest Ukrainian integration platform and national data lake that operates in the cloud. It is unique in its ability to create situational awareness tools such as a digital map platform that allows for manual information input or integration with various sensors, trackers, radars and satellite providers. This enables users to track the location of friendly forces and identify enemy positions. The Delta capability provides the Ukrainian military with situational awareness. Streaming services for drones and stationary cameras, secured chat, planning tools and synchronization matrix for reconnaissance and target acquisition assets, and integration of the robotic system. One person was killed and at least 14 tankers burnt as a strong blaze erupted in Parvez Khan border crossing on the Iran-Iraq border. A tanker driver was killed in the fire, and 17 others were injured, according to Rizgar Latif, the director of the Shahid Hazar Emergency Hospital in Kalar, Iraq. The fire was brought under control on Monday evening. At the parking area for tankers that transport fuel at the Parvez Khan border crossing, Several tankers burned after one of the tankers caught fire and exploded, Ibrahim Mohammed, the spokesperson for the Garmian Civil Defense, told media. Director General of Crisis Management of Iran's Kermanshah region said the fire on the Pervez Khan border on the Iraqi side was extinguished with the help of Iranian firefighters, including dispatch groups from Khazar Sharan. The fire of fuel tankers in the parking lot of the Parviskan border was related to the Iraqi side and had nothing to do with the territory of Iran and Kermanshah province. But we helped the Iraqi side to put out the fire, the official went on saying. Hello. 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 Hello.
ਲੱਭਦਾ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਆਖਰੇ ਹੈ ਸੇ ਜਨਾ 